pinch of black powder. Stimulum. One whole chili. I'll call this blend Rufus Reckless, the Maiden Slayer, <laughs> or Savior. Hmm. No, Slayer sounds much better. Into the tank you go. So, I have the powder already. Well, that's it. I found all the ingredients. Wonderful. I can't even tell you how excited I am to see what happens next. Y but I thought we were making espresso. Yes, you are right. This is an august moment, my friend. We shouldn't spoil it by worrying about the pressure within the nuclear core structure. Pressure within the nuclear core structure? Hear me, gods of our forefathers. Using just the most refined ingredients and the highest possible compression, we beseech thee, open the gates to the espresso-verse. Holy smoke. More pressure! More pressure! Okay, uh, okay. feels completely different. Oh. As you know, I have gazed deep into death's eyes more than once in my life. Oh, now that you mention it, that reminds me. Is Tony still wearing those contact lenses? Shh! Something's happening. Ouch! Whew. I think this brew is going to do the job. I suggest not to move her in this condition. What kind of condition is she in? I still don't understand. I mean, is she dead? No, no. Her body is alive and well. It's her consciousness. It's inactive. So, she's asleep? Well, it's a bit more complicated than that. I think it's related to this implant. It's broken. A consciousness implant? Isn't there a switch or something? A fuse? Maybe the contacts are corroded. That's what always happens with my intercom. I already tried everything. But this is Elysian technology. I have no idea how it's being used. I don't even have the appropriate screwdriver. So, uh, when can I finally take her home? She needs to wake up first. Okay, okay, I see. 
This situation needs to be resolved through a government decision. Let's do it like this. If you manage to wake her up, you can have her. And what happens if I wake her up? Rufus! You're not even supposed to be here. But I have a plan. Oh, I've heard about your plans. You never think things through. Everything you do ends in chaos, and most likely with an explosion. <laughs> we'll see about that. I warn you, stay away from the girl. What's that stinging smell? That's medicine. Says who? Says I. And who's the doctor here? Huh, you tell me. Let's say it together. Mm. Me. It's a draw. Best out of three. You. you. Me. You. Ha! I win. Oh, crap. Hey, go. Go. Wakey, wakey. <laughs> Fast asleep. Very good diagnosis, doctor. Oh, well, you know, it's just that I'm an expert in uh, <laughs> sleep. What's that supposed to be? That's medicine. And who's the doctor here? You. Dr. Gizmo? What now? I want to report an emergency. An emergency? What is it? Fire! Impossible! My fire bridge. You have built-in fire? Yes, ever. That was my last. I got a cake. I think I even remember the fireworks. I remember the incredible. Huh? Robbery! Impossible! My fa You have built all emer a small or at least ever. No emergency. If you say so, it sounds too good. Well, thanks for you're welcome. Hmm. Not literally. The textbook has failed. Now it's time for me to improvise. Huh? Ah, but Rufus, you're not untouchable, Low Tech. Don't you ever forget that. Oh, but Rufus! You're not. Don't you... <laughs> this is practically screaming for a sophisticated maneuver. Yeah, all empathy aside, I haven't got a clue what's going on in the mind of Wenzel. I mean, does he even realize how small and insignificant he is? Looky here, Wenzel, too. Did somebody drop food? I mean, what's the deal with the crawling around on the floor? I'm waiting for Gold to wake up so I can take her with me, of course. Ha! Ah, dream on. Although, it is true that ants can carry ten times their own weight. But why would Goal, an Elysian orbit elf, want to have anything to do with somebody like you? Duh, Rufus! You've always underestimated me. Ugh. Rufus, Rufus! Look at me. I'm a self-made man. Yeah, whoever made you must have stopped right in the middle. Oh, yeah? I am rich. I've got a water vein running through my basement. You, on the other hand, don't even have a basement. You ain't got nothing, Rufus. Hey, that's how you pay people back when they give their best? And what would I want with a basement in Kuvak? I don't belong here, and neither does Gold. And as soon as I wake her up, I will accompany her to Elysium. You'll see. What's that supposed to be? Well, I just want to stick this funnel into her mouth. Not as long as I am her acting physician. And I, her acting mayor. 